How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best class setup for the Burst Fire NZ41 here in Vanguard. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am now partnered with Facebook Gaming. I will be posting exclusive Call of Duty content over there five days a week. So if you're looking for a few more class setups, a few more gameplays, anything, tips or tricks, make sure you guys head over there and drop me a follow. It'd be much appreciated. So right here, we have my Burst Fire NZ41 class setup. Overall, this thing's pretty decent. It's not a weapon you want to play extremely fast with, but the recoil is almost non-existent. The accuracy is absolutely insane. And I really did enjoy using this weapon. I remember in my last NZ41 video, I said I did end up trying this out while I was leveling it up. And I said it was quite good. It is. You're going to need to run this class setup though. Overall, it is not a weapon you can just push and play extremely aggressive with like the Itraburst. The Itraburst is definitely a weapon you can play aggressive with if you put the right attachments on. This one, not the case at all. We're going to get started here with the muzzle for the recoil booster. That is to raise the fire rate of the weapon by plus two. For the barrel, you have the LOR MK1 first. This is one of the last attachments. I believe it's level 68. It might even be earlier than that, but at the end of the day, it's still late on in the leveling process. It's pretty good. Like I said, it gives you the, you the ability to use burst fire. It also has a fully automatic uh, toggle there. So if you run into a situation where you need to have it full auto, you can just flip it like you would to semi-auto and it will make it fully auto. Um, it's highly accurate and controllable as well, as you can see there. It does kind of lower your aim down sight speed, but it's not all too bad. And the same could be said for the sprint to fire time. It's definitely a weapon you need to be aiming down the sight switch, so it's not really a problem at the end of the day. For the optic, I have the slate reflector. That's pretty normal for me. You have an optic you enjoy more. You can definitely go with that. For the stock, I have the Or Weaver E-Pack. Plus three to your recoil control, plus three to the accuracy, plus two to the recoil recovery and flinch resistance. Best stock you could be going with here, especially when it comes to recoil control. If you're finding that you are controlling the recoil far too easily, and you can sacrifice for some movement speed, there is an attachment here in the Orb Weaver Elite that will give you a little more aim down sight time. Sliding over to the underbrow, we have the M3 Ready Grip, plus one to the aim down sight speed, sprint to fire time, and aim walking movement speed. As you can see, you're sacrificing some recoil control, but like I said, it's extremely easy to control. You'll see it in the gameplay. This is by far the best underbrow you can be going with on this build. Build up some of that movement speed, build up some of that aim down sight time, build up the sprint to fire time, like I said, I keep saying it, don't play aggressive, but you are going to need it if you get into a close range engagement. Over to the magazine, I have the Sakura 45 round mag. What's Believe it or not, this magazine is actually bugged and I didn't realize it until right now. It's supposed to give you minus two to your damage. You can see it right there on the bottom in red. Minus two to your damage. It doesn't take away minus two because if you go up to here, minus one to your damage with the Clauser 30 round mag. And as you can see, it's still at 28. So the magazine is actually bugged here, but the reason I'm going with the 45 round mag here is for that fire rate. It really will up that burst delay. When you're not running the fire rate attachments, the burst delay is actually quite horrendous. It's extremely slow. And if you got into a close range engagement, if you miss even one bullet, you are dead completely. So definitely the 45 round mag here. Over at the rear grip, I have the stipple grip for recoil recovery and initial accuracy and recoil control for the proficiency frenzy. So we can immediately start regenerating health after getting a kill and fully loaded like always for the kit. I would really be curious to hear your opinion of the Burst Fire NZ41 down in the comment section down below. You should definitely give the class setup a try. If you guys are new to the channel and would like to find your way back for more videos just like this one, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button. That's the most effective way to support the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. We have some Oasis. This is probably a pretty good map. To feature this burst fire NZ41, get to keep some medium and longer range gunfights. And as you can see, this gun has very, very good recoil. Whereas normally you would say that the NZ41 is a little difficult to use. Then I would say not the case with this thing. It's actually quite easy. The burst delay is a little wonky at times. It feels a little slow, but he's there. Oh, 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 he's got a sniper. Okay, not the peak. That's where you get into trouble. 
If they have an MP40 or an SMG, you're in trouble, man. And that's why this gun is not viable. Maybe like an S&D gun, I would say. But after that, I would say it's just not very viable. Somebody on my team has dogs. Good stuff. Oh, there's one behind me. Are they going to get an A? Losing Looks like it. We're not going that way. Because I, was, I feel like he had an SMG. Oh, he had an SVT. So we actually probably could have taken that, but it is what it is. Actually, it looks like he's pretty good with that SVT low key. So maybe a good thing we didn't. So we're going to rotate out of this position. This is definitely the... Whoa, we got more people with attacked. The kid's got 30 kills. Hold on. What in the world? This kid's lit. I would love to have 30 kills, but I literally cannot play that aggressive or I'm going to die. Uh, I got kills jacked, but I think it was by the dogs. I can't see him. I see his name, but I don't see him. We might be able to secure some streaks here. Oh, he's behind me. Wait a minute. You chasing? No, he's dead. Um, he's right there. Oh, yo, teammates got attack dogs again. I don't even want to hit mine. I'll let him have his game. If I can get a V2 without it, all for it. I think his local informant is still up. Yes, it is. This kid's cracked, bro. Like, actually cracked. I'm surprised. I never get cracked teammates. Um, they are over there. I don't like that, though. We'll go for the guy A. This guy's in the way, way back. Okay, we're gonna rotate. We're on a streak here. That's alright, that's a brutal. We had a kid spawn behind us over here. DFK? He is. Oh, this guy's not. I vibe with this burst, bro. It's kind of like an M16. I, I don't know how those bolts aren't hitting. I'm not liking it. We're going to turn around because they're spawning at a... Come this way. He's not. We are behind him. We got to go. This ain't it. This is a good spot right here because they're all I can't I can't push them. Not a good idea. I need a UAV. If I can get a UAV, I will feel much, much safer. We got a V2, let's go. Oh, I can't get up there.
It's alright. Joe, our teammates got 87 on Oasis. That's crazy. That's where I wanted to actually show that off. Like, for real, for real. What happens when you try to take a close range engagement? It's just bad news, bears. Oh, good shot. Good shot, dude. I wonder if our teammate has a V2. I'm going to call it in before him, though. Like, maybe 190, I'll call it. Oh. Okay. Forgot to mention, there's a little clan in here. What is that, spawn? I think we spawned together. I did say it, though. Very easy recoil to control. That's a shotgun. How do you do? We haven't been able to get a streak going, but that's okay. I'm vibing with this gun. They are spawning behind us a smidge here. Okay, don't shoot. If this is going to hit me, it always does. What did I say? Always does. Without fail. All right, how many kills we got? Keeney's got 107, dude. Wild. I jumped out. Hmm. That sucks. I'm not trying to ruin teammates' game, but I don't want him to call in his V2 before mine. I'm gonna hit it. Who killed me? I didn't even see him. I didn't get a kill cam. Oh well. Yo, I'm vibing. This gun's fun to use, like dead ass. You guys should definitely give this thing a whirl. Highly recommend. We're gonna finish. It's gonna give us like 12 kills, so it's gonna bring it up quite a bit here in the kill counter. GG's. No re. First fire. NZ41. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.